Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Vacuum Games! Now today we've got our first contender, the £40 unbranded Chinese robot vacuum cleaner. Specs include cliff top detection, the ability to climb on a 15 degree angle and some suction. So today these tests have been specially designed to put these robot vacuum cleaners through their paces. Now today we've got this one. A quick reminder to Dyson and Roomba, if you'd like to be in on this, get on that leaderboard, just send me a device for free, I can send you my address. Just get that in the post, we'll get it tested on our purpose-built assault course. So, today we're going to have three challenges for the vacuum. We're going to challenge its grit, its determination, we're going to see what it can do, what it can't do. With those challenges we've got the cliff edge. Then after that, it will move on to the mountain. And then finally will be the big clean. And then we'll see quite what is in here. Now I know you're excited, I'm excited, everyone else here is excited. This place is ecstatic with noise. So let's get on with it, let's go. Thanks for that great introduction, Phil. So here we are at challenge one. Cliff top or cliff edge. So the aim of the game is the device was stated to have cliff edge detection. So it should come towards the edge, realize it's there, turn around. What we don't want to see today is it just falling straight off. So let's see how it fares. Off it goes, it's warming up, it's reversing. We weren't expecting a reverse, maybe I can see the cliff already. It's quite unlikely, but you know, it's doing its thing. So the old spinners are going. They will come in especially useful later for the big clean challenge. The motor is, you know, it's wearing away. Hopefully that will help it on the mountain. But for now, it's, it's working it out. It's seeing where it can go. It's, it, I mean, it's not coming the way we wanted. It looks slightly stuck. Now with these challenges, intervention is allowed. So we will just move it slightly. Now, do you, here we go, here we go. Is it gonna go forward? Here it comes, closer, closer. Hopefully it will come and it will detect that edge. Maybe this is what it's doing. Maybe it's already detected that edge and it is just far beyond what I was expecting. But no, no, the spinners have stopped. Doesn't seem to like the carpet very much. Doesn't, which isn't great for a vacuum. I mean, okay, let's try again. Human intervention. Can you see the cliff? Maybe that's it, it's running away. It doesn't like the edge. Maybe this is exactly what we wanted it to be. Is this a, is this a pass? Is this a very strong pass? I don't know. Here it comes, here it comes towards the edge. It's working its way away from the edge. We put it right there. So there it should have detected the cliff. It is almost over the cliff. The detection looks to be working. It's avoiding it, it's going round in a circle, it's backing away. It's backing away from the cliff. It's working its way out. This, I think, looks like a resounding pass. It looks like, to everybody's astonishment, that it has detected that cliff and it has kept away from it. Nobody expected that today. What a win for the £40 unbranded Chinese device. And gentlemen, what an unexpected start by the little vacuum cleaner. It absolutely raced through the first challenge of Clifftop. It did not fall off, it seemed to know and it seemed to back up. Now, let's see how it faces on what we call the mountain. Can the device get up to the edge? Now we know it's got Clifftop top detection so it won't fall off. But can it do the climb that it said it should? Off we go, off we go, turns around. Turns around, it's stuck. Okay, let's try this again. We want you to come up this way. It's backing away, it doesn't seem to like the cliff. This is not what we were expecting. We were expecting it to be fully embracing the cliff. Here we go, here we go, no, no, every, every way. Every time it just runs away. Oh, it's climbing, it's climbing, it's climbing. It runs away and it fell off the cliff. Maybe that cliff edge detection isn't as good as we thought, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, let's try. It runs away, it does not like the cliff. Every time, a strong running away. Not what we were hoping for here, not at all. You cannot go around the mountain, that is not how the game works. A resounding fail for the vacuum cleaner as it runs off with its uh, wipers between its legs. So here we are ladies and gentlemen, 
at the final of today's challenges. So far, the unbranded Chinese vacuum cleaner has done quite well. It has managed to avoid that cliff quite successfully in the first challenge, but then it failed and it ran away from the mountain in the second. So, so far we are on one pass and one fail. But this, this is the big one. This is the finale to end all finales. The big clean. Now, the aim of this challenge is in the battery life that the vacuum has got left after the previous two challenges. No recharging allowed. Can it A, sweep the entire of this floor, but B, how is it vacuuming? We've got tiny pebbles of vacuumable substance. What we need it to do is brush them out to a, to a wider surface area and then vacuum them up. There will be points awarded for area of coverage, amount of uh, stuff that's sucked up, and general overall performance. I'm excited for this, hopefully you're excited for this. So let's get this show on the road. The device is ready. I'm ready. Here we go. And the device is off and that's it. Two squares cleaned already, but oh no, we're stuck in the corner. Nope, okay, we're out the corner. Wow, look at this go. It's got four squares done already. This is obscene. But wait, it loves that corner. Why does it keep going? Another two squares, just like that. Another two squares have been done, but it keeps going back. Oh no, it's stuck. It was so close, so close to victory. And so here we have it, the end of the big clean. The 40 pound unbranded Chinese robot vacuum cleaner has done some stuff in the 90 minute battery life. It has not cleaned this area. It did much more vacuuming than maybe was expected, but it didn't, how did it not get everywhere? Not great. So we've still got four tiles with stuff on. This I think sadly has to be a fail. So now, the robot vacuum cleaner has been through the paces. It's been put through the cliff top, the mountain, and now the big clean. So now we throw it over to our technical expert to take it apart and we'll see what's under the lid. Thank you very much for sending it over to me. Um, so here it is, the 40 pound unbranded Chinese robot vacuum cleaner. Let's have a quick look at the scoreboard and see how it did. So we can see it passed cliff top, it had that cliff edge detection. Was it luck? Was it not? We don't know. But then it horribly failed on the mountain. What a disastrous display as it ran away. But then we had the big clean, the ultimate challenge for a vacuum cleaner. And again, it just was adequate to pour. So that is two fails, one pass. But that does mean is top of the leaderboard. Number one for the moment. A quick reminder to Dyson, Samsung, whoever make Rumba, just send me a device. I'll put it through its paces. We'll get it on the leaderboard. Just, just send me a DM on Twitter and I'll give you my address. Just a free one. That'd be great. Why not? Anyway, so now that we've got a winner, a leaderboard, not great, but you know, let's see how it did. So first up, it's got this dust compartment. Now this dust compartment, it cleaned up quite a lot of the crap on the kitchen floor. So, oh, we still can't see anything in, in here. We, it says pull out the dust board and I do not know. Oh no, oh no, I moved it slightly and it all, oh God. Very gentle shaking. Very gentle shaking and all the good work has been undone. Now that, is less than ideal. I don't even know how I would get in there to clean it, but no, it's all just coming out. Oh, it looks like, all oh, right, I can click it, I can crack it. Aha, here we go. Here is the dust part, which is very dusty. That has done some dusting over the time, but most of it is now in the device and on my desk. Not great. So, Luckily, I came prepared because I thought something like this might happen. Let's, um, oh my days. Oh my days. I mean, I would get the vacuum cleaner to do this, but then I'm just going to be in a circle of it continuing to make a mess everywhere. So, you know, this, this, yeah, this little dust box has sort of done its thing. There's some, there's some dust, it seems it's done all right. 
Okay. So, now it's the time that everybody has been waiting for. Now that we know how it fares on our three different tests, we can do the exciting bit. How does it work? How does that cliff top detection work? It's the question that everybody wants to know. Okay, so what we've got, we've got all the screws out. We can see that there is a 2000 milliamp 3.7 volt battery in an easy to access compartment which goes through to the base. We've also taken the screws out that are around the device. So let's lift this off and see what we've got. Oh no, that's just the screws, that's okay. So what have we got here? We've got a tiny, tiny board here with some with with a few little bits on it we've then got rubber bands here so these run this motor then this motor runs these cogs which turn these bits which are the um the wipers which makes sense then we've got a second motor here and that motor that motor runs the sucker which appears to just sort of suck upwards up here and then down through the box so the sucking action is happening it's coming from here down through there to try and get stuff up so it seems a really inefficient way of doing things there's nothing on the bottom where it's so it's not sucking directly it's sort of a like a, a really bizarre way of getting the suck action but never mind under this as well where this motor is is also the front wheel so the front wheel which spins um i guess that that must be motored and then these are just free wheels so yeah so for 40 pounds we have got well we've we've got not a lot to be perfectly honest we've got a tiny tiny suction out aspect we've then got so we've got two motors um what there isn't is anything that would uh do any sort of cliff detection from what i can tell here so i think that might just have been a fluke with the fact that it ran away from the cliff so we're gonna put that pass to a dubious so now the final scoreboard for this a 40 pound unbranded chinese device is a dubious pass and two very strong fails. Now, it is still number one on our leaderboard. Dyson, Samsung, iRobot, get in touch. Let's change that. But would I buy this? Would I recommend this? It's £40. We kind of knew it wasn't going to be great, but I would not. Just don't buy it. Save money. Buy a normal vacuum cleaner or get maybe a decent one. Hopefully we'll find out on a future episode of The Vacuum Games.